to the men's game now. Kentucky's John Calipari finalizing a five-year deal to coach Arkansas, according to our Pete Thamel and Jeff Borzello. The deal is expected to be completed in the next 24 hours. Calipari is the second highest paid coach in the country at Kentucky, only behind Kansas's Bill Self, earning more than eight and a half million per year. Cal had a lot of success early on at Kentucky, advancing to the Final Four four times in his first six seasons and winning the title in 2012. But things have gone south the last few years, culminating with a loss to Oakland in the first round of this year's NCAA tournament. Jay Will joining the show now live from Arizona. Stephen A., yes. are you surprised that Cal left Kentucky for Arkansas? I'm shocked. I was shocked because Arkansas is not Kentucky. Um, you know, tradition-wise and what have you. First of all, let me say USC is lucky. Eric Musselman is a hell of a coach, and he did a hell of a job. They didn't make the NCAA tournament this season, but in his five years there, a couple of elite eight appearances, three trips to the Sweet 16, he did a damn good job for that program, and I think that uh, he's going to do a hell of a job at USC, so congratulations to him. But Calipari succeeded him. I know that Calipari is, 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 is friends uh, with one of the alumni members that happens to be a billionaire uh, at, uh, from Arkansas. I get that part, and maybe that had a lot to do with this, but I think that the reason I'm shocked is because Kentucky is blue, bu is blue blood. But in the end, I, I just, listen, I, I love Calipari. I've known him for close to 30 years, um, but he's underachieved over the last decade. Uh, haven't made it to a Final Four since 2015. Hasn't won a national championship since 2012. It was the only championship he's won, the national championship he's won, despite getting the Final Fours over six years. And I'm going to throw this out at you, Jay and Shannon. In Calipari's first six seasons at Kentucky, they won 83.7% of their games. They had three 35-win seasons. They had four Final Four appearances, and they won a national title. In his last nine years... He's dropped by 11% in winning percentage and zero in every category. The 35 wins, the Final Fours, the NCAA titles. And when you're at Kentucky and you see North Carolina and Duke keeping themselves relevant, even when they don't win, they're knocking at the door, they're in the mix. And over the last four years, you've had two first-round exits to a number 14 and a number 15 seed. You didn't make the tournament once, and then you got to the second round, and that's all you have to show for it at Kentucky – they were saying it's unacceptable, and there was rumblings about Calipari. So it does give you the impression that he's running away from something rather than be pushed out, even though they weren't going to push him out because they would have owed him a $33 million buyout. But in the end, it's still found, I found myself shocked, Jay, Shannon, because to go from Kentucky to Arkansas, that's not about a better opportunity as much as it is a better environment for you because the environment where you were evidently soured on you, and that's why you left. That's the impression that I've gotten. I don't know anything. I haven't reported on it. I haven't talked mm -hmm. to anybody about it, but that's the impression that I walked away with when I heard this news last night. Stephen A. and Unk, I, I just want to say it out loud and very slowly so we can let it all just marinate. You know, Unk, I know you like to cook. We're going to let that meat marinate yeah. in these like good that. pieces for a second, okay? Well, well, go ahead. <laughs> okay? Yeah. All right. John Calipari, the second all-time winningest coach in Kentucky basketball history. Stephen A., you can tell me about the lack of success over the last couple years in the tournament. My man has won a championship. He's gotten to four Final Fours. Now, Bill Self has won two championships. Dan Hurley is about to win two if he's able to get it tonight. Ain't too many two-championship dudes out there. Ain't a lot of one championship guys out there, okay? With the success he's had. Okay. Has left Kentucky for Arkansas. Yeah. Has left Kentucky basketball awesome. for Arkansas. No disrespect to Arkansas. I love Nolan Richardson. I love 40 Minutes of Hell. I was a yeah. Scotty Thurman fan. But left Kentucky Me, for Arkansas. Me, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 that's all I'm saying here. Like, so I, 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 everybody's going to say, well, you know, this is a great move. Who y'all going to replace him with? Yeah. Who, who, who are they going to replace him with? Everybody keeps telling me, oh, well, underachieved. Give me a name. Is, is Jay Wright going to come out of his cuss job for CBS? Because every time I hear Jay Wright talk about coaching, he's like, man, that's stressful. Is Billy Donovan going to leave Chicago, even if the situation isn't great? To come down to Kentucky? Like, that's the job you're going to I would take? if I was Billy Donovan. Well, like, uh, I would. Oh, hold on. Stephen A., Jay, but, can I ask you this? 
Yes. Hell, I can I can I can come out of my job and get kicked out in the first round, lose to Oklahoma, Oakland. I can lose. Hold on. You talk about who oh, you're going to replace. Shannon. Hold on. Time out. Time out. You said there's not a whole lot of guys to win national champions. How about this for a roster? 35 first round picks since he's been in Oklahoma. Anthony Davis, Devin yes. Booker, Shea Gilgis, Maxie, Randall, John Wall, Bam, Murray, Bledsoe, one Demarcus two. Cousins, Carl Anthony Towns, Derrick Rose. Yes. Number one overall draft pick in Derrick Rose. Number one overall draft pick in Carl uh, Anthony Towns. Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis, John Wall. And you give me one title? If Nick Saban, if Kirby Smart, if Dabo Sweeney, with all the guys they put in the Different first game. round. Different game. Different game. Different game. Different game, hey, Shannon. If, if Different game when you go to college football playoffs, you got to win two games. You win two if, games. If, you got to win six games here. And by the you, way, what you, the Carl Anthony you, Towns you, team, they were undefeated. They lost in the chip. They lost in the final four to Wisconsin. Ran hey, I, I, I hear get, what all y'all saying about the talent. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Shannon. I can get I can get any coach to go to the SEC and make the NCAA tournament and get kicked out just like Cal did. Now you so when he went to, when he went to Kentucky, did he say we're gonna get all these guys? All these guys are gonna be number one picks, or did he say he gonna hang banners like Mr. Rupp did, or is he gonna do what JB Hall did? Continue? Was he gonna do what? Uh, 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 what's it? Tubby Smith? They got Tubby up out of there. Why are they not getting him up out of there? Tubby Smith won a title. Why didn't Tubby get to stay? They ran J.B. Hall up out of there. Why didn't he get to stay? Why do Cal get to stay? Because he gets five first round, five star, five star, five star? Why did he get to stay, Jay? Just ask me that. Why did he get to stay? All, all I'm saying is sometimes you don't know how good you got it until it's gone. All right, well. And I think there are a certain level of people that because Kentucky's been so relevant, I caught a lot of flack this year when I was like, oh, they're like the Dallas Cowboys of college basketball. Not mm -hmm. saying that the lack of success in the tournament. I'm talking about mm -hmm. the fact the relevancy of how we talk about them every single day because yes. of the brand names. Brand Direct. names don't always translate to championships. Now every single year you got to win a championship or if you ain't winning championships, well, you're, you're, you're considered a bum. I'm just saying, they don't, don't diminish what? how Look. great it is. Cal's the second all-time winningest coach in Kentucky basketball history, Shannon, next to Adolph Rupp. I got well, the Adolph me, Rupp award at Jay. my house. That says something, though. That's all I'm Jay, saying. Jay, Jay, Jay let, me, let me say this, bro. I respectfully disagree with you. I'm not saying, and no one should say, Calipari is a bum. Calipari has no. been a great coach. Calipari has been a great coach. We understand what his resume entails. The respect is given, and the, the college basketball landscape has changed, particularly because of the portal, and I think that, you know what, he might be in a better situation than Arkansas for all we know. But here's the point, Jay. He wouldn't think about leaving Kentucky had he been more successful. The rumblings down in Lexington existed because it's been since 2015. So there is credence to Shannon's point that if you're at a program like Kentucky and you're getting all of these five-star recruits, one should be able to expect that in a nine-year span, you'd at least visit the Final Four again. You're talking about the last four years, they didn't even make it to the Sweet 16. Now, on, you've, got, you, you've, got to take, you've got to take that into consideration. There's no way to get around that, Jay. Four years at the University of Kentucky, and you can't get to the Sweet 16. Nine years, and you can't get to the Final Four, let alone win a national championship. That does matter. And all of a sudden, it can get to a point where those five-star recruits that you got will suddenly be held against you because when do we stop looking at youngsters, looking at their youth as an excuse? At some point in time, isn't it you? It's got to be you, especially when we're talking about great coaches, a Krzyzewski, a Roy Williams, a Self, and others. I'm talking – now, Jay, I'm not talking about a national championship. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking I, about not, not even the Sweet 16. That's what I'm saying. I, That's a problem. Man, I, I – I, I, all those are factual, S.A. I, I'm not disagreeing with you on the facts, brother. All I'm trying to say, though, in comparison – we had two coaches in the Final Four. I know Nate Oates is hot right now with the way he's won. I just saw them two months ago, man. Like, they, they were nowhere close to that team. We had Kevin Keats in the Final Four. That dude was about to be fired. So, like, sometimes lightning in bottles occur. 
And I hear that, but I'm looking at the totality of the work. And by the way, everybody's like, well, you just can't win with young players. You know, they had an old team two and a half years ago, stacked with transfers. So, like, he's done it different ways. It's just sometimes it's hard to win the tournament. It doesn't always translate. Coach K only had five of them, man. I mean, he had well, five. We're not, but we're incredible. not talking always. Bill Self well, has we, two. We're not talking Bill always. Bill Self just got his second two years ago. We, we, we're not talking just got always. Himself his second two years ago. Yeah, yeah, but we're not talking national titles, and we're not talking always. We're saying that over the last nine years, you haven't even been to a Final Four, and over the last four years, you haven't even gotten to a Sweet 16. Mm. I'm saying when that comes right. about, we talk about Calipari like those things okay. – are impossible to occur, but they have occurred, and we can't ignore that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Who are you replacing them with? Well, uh, here's, and you know what my response is? What Shannon said. In this regard, if you're not even getting to a sweet 16 at the University of Kentucky, there's a lot of coaches I can replace you with. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Guess what? He's the second winningest coach all time. And he has the same number of national championships as Tubby Smith at Kentucky. He's the second winner this coach all time. He has the same number of championships as J.B. Hall. So tell me what am I getting? For eight and a half million, what am I getting? Oh, I get a bunch, I get a bunch of five stars and do what? Get bounced in the first round? Get bounced in the second round? Is that what I'm getting? So guess what? If I can get bounced in the first or second round, I can get me a coach and pay him $4 million and do that. I, I hear you. Shan, all I'm saying, I remember a day and time when people were about to go hard on Jay Wright. People were saying, oh, Jay Wright can never win it. And then he, but he did. lightning in a bottle, Chris Jenkins, boom, 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 he makes two. Yeah. Now he's one of the all-time winningest coaches. I'm just saying there's, there's luck that goes into but a lot of But he wasn't at now. Kentucky with the like, top two recruiting but, class but, uh, in the nation. Thank you. All right, no, we got to leave it there. Jay, okay. you one more okay. Okay. Jay, just, yeah. Jay, I'm, Jay. Jay, yes. he's winning national championship with Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Dante Givincenzo. You get, you got Anthony, Carl Anthony Towns, you got Anthony Davis, you got John Wall, Boogie Anthony Cousin, Davis Murray, Shea Gilgis. He, Come on, Jay. He won it with AD. He right. won it with AD that's and with Cat that got all the way to the Final Four. They were undefeated, right, Shannon. Right, 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 they were right, undefeated right, right. and lost in the four. Right. Point, point made. First class he recruiter, don't want that Shannon. Pressure. That's, that's why he left, Stephen A. He didn't okay. want that pressure. Well, that's, that, that's pressure. different, Shannon. That's different now. He won't that's that different. pressure, no, That's a different combo. That's a different okay. combo. Kentucky had 35 first-round draft picks during his How many? 35. Jay, Duke before, was second with 27. Jay, before we let you roll, uh, who do you have tonight? You going Purdue or UConn? And you two answer later in the show. So I'm going just your Jay. squad, Molly. I'm going, going your squad, Molly. I'm going. You think your it's going to be close? They get it done. Dan Hurley's the face of college basketball next year. That's what he is. We know it better happen because if it doesn't, Molly is just going to be miserable to bet, America. Yeah, I bet Shannon, she won't come to work tomorrow. Me. Shannon, <laughs> Shannon, you, you Connor the field. Don't forget about that bet. I have Don't that tape. E.D. E.D. How come you need to wear the UConn gear today? E.D. How come you need to wear the UConn? Because I wanted to celebrate South Carolina today. I wanted South Carolina to have their moment. You know, I showed a lot of shoulder. It was, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah.